welcome to my youtube channel mcb chem 2 this is online chemistry tutorial you get my previous video either from my website or from my youtube channel and i would like to discuss some topic reaction mechanism in organic chemistry today i am going to concentrate on you to teach what is elimination reaction and let us first understand the difference between substitution and elimination reaction i have given one example here this is an example for nucleophilic substitution reaction and sn1 reaction reaction of tertiary butyl halide in in water it first it give a carbocation tertiary carbocation by slow ionization of halide then water attack this electrophilic center to form tertiary butanol this one and this is an example for sn1 reaction suppose if you are using concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide what happens to this reaction so you can see here if you are using very concentrated solution concentrated solution of uh, sodium hydroxide it undergo an elimination reaction you get isobutene and so actually what happens if elimination usually happens when a nucleophile attack hydrogen instead of carbon you can see here in substitution nucleophile attack the uh, this carbon and in elimination nucleophile or base attack the hydrogen so you get eliminated product here and you get the substituted product here so in previous example this base is abstracting this hydrogen and you are getting eliminated product like this so let us see what are the factors that affect elimination against substitution reaction one key important factor is basicity so in case of tertiary halide already we have seen in presence of weak base it is a weak base ethanol it undergo substitution rather than elimination but if you are using strong base it undergo elimination so we have to consider here hard and soft electrophile concept usually in alkyl halide carbon centuries is considered as a soft electrophile and cx sigma bond is in low energy lumo usually weak nucleophile having homo that is almost or equal to or are this a weak nucleophile having almost similar to lumo of cx bond so they can interact with each other and ch sigma bond sig antibody orbital is having higher energy lumo why because these are less electronegative so this factor coupled with the hydrogen small cells make ch bond a hard electrophile second factor is size of nucleophile or base usually small nucleophile favor substitution and large nucleophile favor for elimination even for a primary alkyl halide usually primary alkyl halide undergo substitution reaction and you can see it here when you are using potassium hydroxide it undergo substitution even with concentrated solution but primary halide but in previous case it was tertiary halide so in if you are using potassium tertiary butoxide this one it undergo elimination so here the factor the size of nucleophile the nucleophile become large what happens is it undergoes elimination rather than substitution because the reason is large substituent or large substituent is hard to attack on carbon but no problem in attacking hydrogen so third factor is the temperature usually in elimination reaction you can see two molecules become three in substitution two molecules becomes one in substitution 
So what happens to delta S? Change in entropy will be greater for elimination. From this Arrhenius equation, delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S, delta S will be positive for elimination reaction and it will be positive for more exothermic at higher temperature the reaction favors it, this part become negative then th this become larger or positive then delta G become more negative so elimination will be favored at higher temperature so in summary we can say nuclear felt that a strong base favor elimination of substitution and nuclear fail or bases that are, that are bulky favor elimination over substitution and high temperature usually favor elimination over substitution so let's consider the what are the what is elimination and what are the types of elimination and what are the mechanism so elimination reaction involve the loss of fragment of proof from a molecule to generate multiple bond like this <clears throat> and there are three four types of elimination reaction one is alpha elimination beta elimination gamma elimination and fourth one extrusion reaction in alpha elimination <clears throat> both atoms are eliminated from the same carbon atom example is carbon formation and in beta elimination you can see it here this one from adjacent carbon atom these two atoms get eliminated and form multiple bond and in gamma elimination hydrogen and halide is eliminated from first and third carbon atom it form a structure like the cyclopropane and extrusion reaction some atoms are extruded you are getting why here extruded from this bond a new bond will be formed between this x and z that is extrusion reaction now let us consider what are the types of in beta elimination we will learn beta elimination in detail so there are three major types of L beta elimination one is e2 bimolecular elimination and e1 unimolecular elimination and e1 CB it is a conjugate base in a molecular elimination and the fundamental difference between the, the, the these two uh, the three eliminations are the timing of bond breaking and bond forming steps okay and first let us consider the even elimination in TTA even elimination as you know it is a two-step reaction and similar to SN1 reaction not exactly similar but first step is the similar to SN1 in first step S it is the generation of carbocation intermediate in both in SN1 and E1 and second step is different in second step what happens is hydrogen is abstracted by the base rather than attack on the carbon cation in substitution reaction so nucleophile is attacking on the carbon and this even elimination is best in tertiary substrate or substrate that form stabilized to carbocation intermediate and this is an example for the even elimination so mechanism <clears throat> there are two steps in first step, it breaks the bond to give a stable molecules of iron <clears throat> it undergoes a slow ionization and cbr bond undergoes slow ionization and it become carbocation like this then a bromide anion will be formed this is the slowest step and also the weight determined step and in second step <clears throat> take base take proton away from this carbon atom <clears throat> transfer from the car carbocation intermediate to the solvent and it give alkene like this okay and what factor is helping to get it eliminated that is hyperconjugation that is the interaction of this alpha carbon with this mtp orbital this make it stabilize the carbocation 
and it also make electrophile hydrogen H plus to depart. Okay, the experimental evidence for this even elimination, one of the experimental evidence, it is unimolecular, is the kinetics. Rate of reaction only depends on the concentration of substrate. And this is the energy profile diagram of even elimination. You can see here we have, we have a steady material here and product here and intermediate. These are the important uh, uh, things in this uh, even reaction. And apart from this, this carbocation intermediate, you have a two transition state. And first transition state is having higher energy. This one is having lesser energy. So what is the actual structure of transition state one? This will be the structure of transition state will be one. And here you can see it started to break the bond between carbon and leaving group. In this, this is the transition state structure one. And in structure two, you can see the base started to form bond and this hydrogen started to break and this started to form double bond. That is why this is having lesser energy. It is, it is having double bond. Okay, this is the energy profile diagram of even elimination. So let us move to the E2 elimination. It is a one step reaction and it is similar to SN2 reaction and to group depart simultaneously that is that means it is a concerted process so bimolecular reaction it is bimolecular and that means the rate depends on both substrate and nucleophile it is uh, participating in single step example for this e2 elimination is isopropyl bromide in the presence of base you can't propyl and let us discuss the mechanism of the reaction of 2 bromopropane. In first step, here you can see this is the 2 bromopropane. And first step itself, two processes take place the base abstract, this hydrogen, and at the same time, this elimination occurs. And it forms this product, uh, this butene, this product you will get. And this is an E2 elimination, E stands for elimination and 2 stands for bimolecular. So E2 reaction has a similar energy profile diagram for SN2. It is a concerted process, usually require less activation energy than sequential bond breaking and bond formation. And experimental evidence, you, uh, you can see that kinetic studies is revealed that this rate only depends on depends on both substrate and concentration of both substrate and base and this is the energy profile diagram you can see the transition state in transition state you can see that the base started to break uh, form bond with the hydrogen it started to break form bond with the carbon and there is a double bond and this will be having less energy and uh, it started to leave the living group living group so there is an in transition state there is a considerable amount of double bond character so that will be having lesser energy <clears throat> now let us discuss third elimination even cp elimination and it is an two-step reaction where in first step uh, formation of a conjugate base and how the conjugate base form uh, usually a base abstract beta hydrogen and it gives rise to a carbon ion that is called conjugate base, base of the substrate and from that conjugate base living group depart and the protonation occurs usually head of leaving group departure and normally the protonation uh, after in e even elimination and it, you can see that 
after leaving group depart the protonation occurs but this is different first deprotonation occurs then leaving group depart is a unimolecular reaction an example for even cp reaction is this one so let's consider discuss the mechanism in first step you can see here the green proton this green proton is uh, acidic because it is in between this carbonyl and hydroxyl group and in the presence of base this can abstract the grab this proton and become carbanion this is a conjugate base of that substrate then that carbanion actually is a resonance stabilized and it can form a double bond here and say this double bond break and this electron transfers towards the oxygen become an enolate so this can be best representation of anion and what <clears throat> this anion is stabilized by this carbonyl group it still preferred to lose the leaving group that is hydroxyl group and uh, like this this started to make a double bond this double bond break and oh leave this is the type of elimination that occurs in even cb mechanism and this is the slowest step and rate determining step here normally oh is not a good leaving group but oh uh, unwillingly it has to leave and it become alkene here <clears throat> okay let us discuss some more example first case is this one here we will consider the elimination of this hydroxyl group by even mechanism even cb mechanism and this reaction occurs in the presence of mesetyl chloride mscl that is mesetyl chloride mesetyl group is a very good leaving group why mesetyl chlorides are used in order to make oh a very good leaving group so you are using mesetyl chloride to make it more better leaving group and you get a mixture of product here you have an ez isomerism <coughs> so you get 90 percentage yield with the two is to one mixture so let's what is the mechanism of that reaction <coughs> first step is the reaction of oh with mesetyl and you get oms oh become as mesetylated then in the presence of base this is a acidic proton this grab this proton and this break and it form an enolate this is the enolate and the second step this enolate it undergo an elimination like this and oms will be eliminated and form a double bond here so that's the mechanism i hope you understand this okay this one it form like this and finally this one okay second example here you can see in second example you have uh, halogen here instead of oh beta halo carbonyl compound okay so example for this type of reaction is uh, this compound and and this reaction is doing in the presence of hydrogen chloride suppose you are doing you get a different product like this so what is the mechanism of that reaction and first step you are doing uh, you are treating this compound with hydrogen chloride what happens is this uh, carbonyl get protonated first this carbonyl get protonated and this become electrophilic center this of hydroxyl group can act as a nucleophile and it can attack this carbonate and it form a lactonide that is called butanite and next is even cb mechanism it undergo even cb mechanism in the presence of triethyl amine in the presence of triethyl amine it grab this acidic proton and it form an enolate first like this and after the enolate formation it undergo even cb elimination this double bond break and this double bond break and chlorine leave and it form this final product okay third example this compound undergo elimination like this 
and what is the mechanism of this elimination here it is different and you can see that this is the acidic hydrogen here most acidic hydrogen is this uh, hydrogen why it is acidic because this carbanion is a aromatic cyclopentadienyl anion so let us see that and this hydrogen is acidic and this become cyclopentadienyl anion it is stabilized to one and this grab uh, base grab this hydrogen and it form a carbanion first then this can undergo elimination like this by cooking this uh, kicking this part leaving group okay like this and it form a product like this and finally this leaving group becomes stabilized by eliminating this part amine and uh, eliminating carbon dioxide so in summary you can see that given elimination is occurs in a uh, high uh, electron donating group a substrate having more electron donating group that is uh, tertiary for example tertiary and and of course there should be having a good leaving group and it is a two-step mechanism rate depends on only substrate and E2 usually it depends on the strength of base and the natural leaving group and it is a one-step process and it is concentrated process rate depends on both substrate and nucleotide and even CB mechanism is a unimolecular reaction usually CB means a conjugate base and this is also a two-step process okay, that's all about today, uh, about this topic and uh, thank you for watching my video.